For nearly 35 years, our friend Jim Muggins Bennett has celebrated Christmas by giving thousands of donated toys and food baskets to Harlan County families in need. All through his organization, the Tri-City Empty Stocking Fund. However, the severe weather flooded the stock rooms where Muggins keeps those toys, resulting in thousands of dollars in damages. WYMT's Eric Ekstrom talked to Bennett about what he plans to do next. Every once in a while, someone comes around who reminds us of the beauty of our humanity. People who, by example, show us that genuine goodness is not dead, but alive and well. And Harlan County Muggins Bennett and his wife Naomi have been that and more for years, distributing toys and food to families in need at Christmas. My heart feels good when I get done, deliver that last basket to the kids and, the, and to the home alone. That's, that's what I profit. Yep, that's a big profit too. But on Wednesday, Bennett and his wife say they experienced a heartbreaking setback as severe rains flooded the storage sheds where the toys are stored, ruining thousands of dollars worth of merchandise and threatening their operation. Just uh, don't know if we'll be able to make up what we've lost. And, uh, all you know is try. In 34 years, nothing like this has happened to the Bennetts. They now say their hope is that folks might pitch in to help them restock. But anything we can get for help, we appreciate it. I don't care. The needy don't need to be greedy. That's for sure. Just be tickled with what you got and go on. A philosophy of gratitude the Bennett say is bigger than any setback and the fuel propelling their commitment to make sure the families they serve continue to have a Merry Christmas in December. In Harlan County, Eric Ekstrom, WYMT Mountain News. Anyone interested in sending a check or money or toy donations to help the Bennett family can find a postal address and contact information on our website. That's WYMT.com.